was happening. Let's talk about the fucking debacle that is my motherfucking life, shall we? I'm going to let you guys in on some super secret personal shit about my fucking life right now, okay? Hopefully nobody uses it against me. <laughs> um, hold on a second. One must be proper, properly medicated. Go check it out. I got a sister, right? Listen to this shit. I got a sister. She's a motherfucking, um... She's a fucking professor. No bullshit. Of sociology. But a little bit more than that, she's fucking... <laughs> dude, she's fucking brutal on me, dude. Like, crazy, dude. Like, I never... I've never asked that fucking woman for a fucking penny. Ever. In my entire life. I've totally protected her when she was younger. I mean, I fucking did. I mean, it's because I live the way I do. She is just nails me to the fucking cross. And now she's got my fucking daughter on her team or whatever, something. I don't know what's up, but I'll tell you what. <laughs> the fucking shit is fucking really fucking weird, man. But check this out. So here's what my sister tells me I have. My sister tells me I have a very, wait. Am I doing this wrong? Hold on. My sister tells me that I have what is a very fucking serious, God damn it, a very serious fucking mental illness. Yes, listen to this shit. Okay, so what she's telling me I have is a personality disorder. And I'm like, you fucking freak. You're like, listen to me, you fucking little fuck. She's my little sister. She's four years younger than me. Listen to this. I'm like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You fucking, like, what the fuck are you fucking, you couldn't survive a fucking day in my shit. Like, what the fuck? You can't be a fucking, have a personality fucking disorder and fucking be able to do what the fuck I do. And there's no fucking way, man. Dude, I don't know if you're grabbing for straws, little sister, or what the fuck you're doing, but that is fucking re- Ridiculous. <laughs> so anyways, uh, for somehow, some way, I don't know how the fuck this goes down, but I think that she is in fucking cahoots with my fucking daughter right now. I know they all talk. I know that her and my sister and my fucking, my daughter, my sister and my daughter's mom all fucking are like cool and shit, which is cool. I'm very glad about that. That's great. But why the fuck they alienate the shit out of me? Now listen to my daughter, oh God, dude. I'll tell you what, when this shit gets like, okay, so that's another thing too. They try to make me believe this and when I don't, they look at me like, oh, you're so delusional because of the drugs and stuff. I swear to God, I'm like, no, no, not. Like, I'm very, very fucking strongly proud of the fact that I'm pretty much based in reality. Like, what the fuck you're saying right now is kind of fucking delusional. Are you that fucking... Like, I mean, I know what's really weird too, dude, is she doesn't... Okay, so, Jimmy Lorraine, dude, does the same fucking thing as my sister. Exact, dude, exact. But Jimmy does it on, like, a fucking homeboy level with, like, on fucking... On a trip where, like, like... He's so fucking jealous of me, dude. He will fucking do shit right in front of me. Like, brutal shit. And I know why he's doing it, and I'm all sympathetic to his... I was, I used to be. I'm like, I'm like ah, and I let it go, dude. Hella shit, dude. He has fucked me hella times, dude. And I'm like, ah, oh, like, I totally let it go because he fucking lived in my shadow for hella fucking years, and I fucking hate to say it like that. And I never ever said that before, but that's why he does this shit, dude. He fucking hates me for it, dude. And it's fucked up, man. And I don't even do nothing but, but try to fucking take care of these fucking people. That's it, dude. It's too much, dude. It's too, there's a lot of that that goes on in my life. Yes. Like, somebody told me one time that if I was aware of all the hating that went on against me behind my back, I would be really fucking pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got a bitch. <laughs> Whatever, dude, and now I'm coming up on the fucking other side of the fucking green hill, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking getting old. It's happening right before my eyes. Wasn't supposed to live this long. Uh, 
I'm not fucking cool with this part, dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't fucking so much as fucking gone out with a chick in almost three years now. No bullshit. But check this out. Even further more than that, listen to this shit. The other day, I went so far as to ask this one chick out. And she said, no, motherfucker. She did. <laughs> but like, <laughs> watch this. Like, <laughs> Right when she did, dude, there was like a, uh, an instant like feeling of relief. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But check this out, like, uh, you ask me why? Why would I feel relief? Because I didn't like, just the thought of going through all that shit of like trying to fucking like tell these chicks like look man amazing shit's gonna happen blah 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 no no it's not you're just talking about your neck yeah i'm just talking about my neck okay watch this play amazing shit amazing shit amazing shit okay like <laughs> i mean it's like that dude it's fucking like that like i'm telling you right now the the fucking the times that i've been with some chicks that i cared about like their fucking how can i say it where I cared about their enjoyment and the fact that they were with me or whatever, you know, like, it, boy, it was, it goes on. It's, it's on cracking, dude. Like, dude, I have no problem in that category. Like, that's all good and well, dude. Like, magic shit will happen. Yes. Sweeping off the feet will definitely happen. I'm sure of it. Don't worry about it. <sighs> like, this last one, Kelly, dude, I swear to God, for a good fucking... 90 days, I'd say, that broad would force herself not to laugh, dude. I don't know how she did it, dude. I used to say, I would say some shit that would be like funny or 10 motherfuckers, and I'd look at her and she'd be like, just sitting there, and I'd be like, what do you do when I do this shit? Do you just like think of like dead puppies, or what do you do, dude? Just stop yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah. What is some other crazy shit? Me and that bitch would pull up someplace to like, like say, let's say we went someplace to go buy some clothes or something like that. We would pull up the place and it would take us two fucking hours to get out of the car. Yes. Cause we're just going back and forth, man. Fucking rolling in the car, just cracking the fuck up. Yes. It's like that, dude. You're gonna, if you're a fucking female and I'm fucking, you know, Yes, it's going to be like that, you know? Uh, let me break it down for you. I hope I don't run out of time. There's like three different types of broads, okay? There's those mean-ass chicks that you get with them, and they start talking shit like a dude, and it's all fucking weird, and fucking you feel like you're fucking sitting next to me at the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, this bitch is going to get me in all sorts of trouble, you know? Like, and then you got the chick that's in the middle that's like, uh, what do you want to say? Like, oh, this is kind of boring, but it could be kind of fun. I really don't want him to know, blah, blah, blah. You got those ones. And then you got the ones that are like, dude, what are we doing? Like, let's go to a hotel. <laughs> yes, you got those are the three. That's it. You know? That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> and I tend to like the ones in the middle a little bit, but I don't like it when they're totally don't let me know shit type shit, you know? I don't like that. Mm. But like when they do, let's like just kick it for a while, like get, give me a second to do some amazing shit, you know? It'll happen, don't trip, just give me a second. <laughs> like right now, for God's sakes, I'm sitting in the parking lot, talking to my phone, having a fucking blast. <laughs>